Hi, I'm Nick of Creative 111 here to talk to you about Farsight and your Insta360 Pro 2 camera. So one of the problems with 360 shooting in general is that you, the person that's filming, is always in the frame. Now there are some solutions where you can use your phone and connect to the camera's Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi is not that reliable and you can't go very far. Enter Farsight from Insta360. This is a solution that connects to your camera through a landline and allows you to monitor your actual 360 images about three quarters of a mile. Now let's see how we can connect it to the Insta360 Pro 2 camera. The first thing that you want to make sure is that your camera's batteries are all charged up as well as the transmitter and receiver involved with Farsight. After doing that, put on the antennas to the camera as well as to put on the antennas to your transmitter as well as your receiver. Once those are in place, it's all a matter of now powering up each item individually. First thing I'm going to do is turn on my camera. I can see here this little circular power button. I'm going to click it once until I can actually see a blue indicator here, allowing me to know that the camera is now powering on. But once that's done, it's time to involve my transmitter. With the transmitter here, you can already see that it's clamped onto the camera. Turn it on and wait for a couple green dots to start flashing. So looking at my camera menu here, I'm gonna first of all, click on the gear icon. And the first option at the top there is for ethernet. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to cycle back to DHCP. And you can do that with your actual power on button. Click on the hooked arrow to head back to the main screen. I'm gonna use my arrow keys here to head over to my Wi-Fi settings and click on the power button to turn Wi-Fi off. We don't actually need the Wi-Fi to be on right now because we're using the landline. Now that that's all set up, I'm gonna take this cable, which I already have, my ethernet cable, and plug it in here to the bottom of the camera. I'm looking for the top menu here to make sure that an IP address is showing. You'll know that it's showing correctly by the numbers 198, 168, 100, followed by three additional numbers. Now that that's good to go, it's time to actually start working here with the receiver. You can see here that I already have the antennas connected, as well as a cable sticking out from the bottom a lightning connection for my iPhone device. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you're also able to connect that as long as it's compatible with Insta360, which you can find from their website. If that's all good to go, you're gonna simply power on your receiver. Similar to the transmitter, you'll see some green dots starting to flash. It's gonna take a few minutes to boot up. Once that's done, you're gonna grab your phone. I have my iPhone 10 right now. And you'll see here this lovely mechanism here which allows you to stretch this to fit your phone into the socket. I'm gonna plug in that lightning cable into the bottom of my phone. And I like to check here under the iPhone settings to make sure that I can see some ethernet options. Once that's done, I'm all good to go. I'm gonna head over and do a search for my Insta360 Pro app. I'm gonna use connection method A in order to connect to my camera. The most important thing is that the IP address that's showing here on your phone screen matches that of your camera screen. And once it does, simply press connect and on the top left hand corner, you'll actually see that IP address and signal shooting out from your camera. I'm gonna go over to my video because that's what I'd like to capture. I'll restore settings from the last time I shot and the best part about this is I'm now able to actually see a preview from my Insta360 Pro 2 camera that looks awesome and is almost crystal clear. Now with that selected, I can go through a couple different modes. I can go over here and actually see how this will look in a stereoscopic view. I've got my left and right eye. As I move my phone around, I'm able to see Claude who's filming us here today. Pretty awesome. If I click here on the top and use the arrow to go back, I'm able to see the preview in my equa rectangular view. Now the best part is I can start recording here and then take a walk off 20 seconds, 30 seconds, even a minute away and still be able to see a preview of what's going on here in my phone without getting in the way of what my camera is shooting, which is the landscape around us. So let me click on the record button, hear the fan power down, and now we know we're good to go. I'm simply just gonna walk away from my camera. Let's just see how far I can get. I'm just gonna watch me monitor as I walk back in the distance here. 
So right now I'm actually just about a football field away in terms of the actual camera. You can see it over there and I'm still having an amazing signal. It's been recording for just over a minute now. I went pretty far there and was still able to see my actual signal on my phone. And that's how easy it is to work with Farsight. I'm Nick from Creative 111. If you're looking for more tips, stay tuned to next week. We'll have another video. If you're looking for more information on Insta360, head to their website and find out some amazing things they're doing with 360 cameras.